What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about the leaks that we weren't supposed to see that are live right now inside of Modern Warfare 2. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because we're very close to 100,000 subscribers here on the main channel. Really appreciate it. Also, drop a like and turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything going on in Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, Warzone Mobile, and any other future Call of Duty as well. So, as you guys have been keeping up, I've been posting everything there is to do with the campaign from walkthroughs of each mission, Easter eggs, new findings, and I've even more coverage on the way for you guys i also posted a full movie of all cinematic cutscenes for those interested i have a playlist link to that down below in this video's description but somehow and i mean somehow people in the community did find a way to actually enter the multiplayer menu through campaign early access which i guess makes sense considering that the preload for modern warfare 2's campaign also came with downloads or multiplayer spec ops even warzone 2 so it was inevitable that people out there would actually find the method to actually get something like this done so here's how you do it on pc all you have to do at this menu is click f6 that simple you can even plug in a keyboard on console do the same thing so console isn't left out when it comes to this method which is interesting and as you guys can see here we go we have our create a class menu and obviously you can access settings from the top right as well hopefully music's not too loud in this recording let me make sure that's tweaked a little bit just in case but yeah you can access everything that you need for multiplayer and starting with our ars Obviously, we have the good old Chimera. Chimera, hope I said that right. This is the Honey Badger. Holy crap. The Honey Badger itself is right here, but it's locked. I can't actually equip it. We then have the Lockman. We have an AUG there. We have the M4, M16, the Castoff 762, the 74U, the 545, the M13B. Lots of ARs here. We got the Scar there. For Battle Rifles, we have the Tac B, the SO14. The FTAC Recon and then the Lockman 762. Again, we didn't have the complete list of weapons over at COD Next or during the beta. So this as of right now is the complete list for launch. We then have the MP5. We got the Bass P. They have the MX9, the 9K, which is pretty damn cool. And then the FSS Hurricane there. Also the Mini Back, which is like a Bullfrog SMG. Our P90 known as the F28. And then we got the Vel 46, so the good old MP7, and our Fennec 45. But then, the Lockwood 300, we got our Bryson, our Bryson 890, and then our Expedite 12 here for the shotgun list. Obviously a small list. For LMGs, we of course have the RAL MG, that was a DLC LMG from MW 2019. We then have the HCR 56, the 556 Icarus, the RPK, and then the Rap H, which looks pretty damn cool. Followed by Markspin Rifles, we have the LMS, the SPR-208, EBR-14, the SAB-50, and then the Lockwood Mark II. For snipers, we have the MCPR-300, the Victus XMR, the Signal-50, the LAB-330, and then lastly, the SPX-80. So, those are complete list of snipers. And then for melee, we just have the Riot Shield for now. But then you go to secondaries, we can go ahead and see our... Where's our pistols at? Those should be under... Actually, you know what? There's overkill on this class, so let's switch to Phantom. That's what the problem was. Handguns with the X12, X13 Auto, the 50GS, and then the P890, and then the Centum 5. So, again, some pistols in here were not available at COD Next or during the beta. For launchers, RPG-7, Pila, or the Pila, hope I said that right. And then, of course, our good old Joker that we also saw in MW2019. And then we got our combat knife for melee weapons under the secondary category. You can see our stats for all those weapons as well. Nothing really changed with the tacticals, from my understanding. Unless some of these weren't in the beta and I just can't remember. But we got a nice look at a harpy sensor from the campaign yesterday. So you guys are familiar with that now. Tear gas in here. I don't think that was in the beta. And then we got our shock stick. Lethals. Looks about the same. Claymores, frags, Molotov, C4, drill charge. Then we got the rest there. Pretty familiar with those already. Perk packages, though. There were some changes made to some of the perk packages. I'll put it on screen so you guys can see because I already forgot what it was. But we, of course, have our Assault, Phantom, Hunter, Deadeye, Support, our Sniper. And those are all our packages. So, yes, I believe more tweaks will be made to these perk packages, I'm sure, when we get our Day 1 patch, which has not come out yet. So keep that in mind. Our Day 1 patch is not yet available from on over 2. So a lot of this that you're seeing right here might not be accurate to Day 1. But it's close enough, right? Field upgrades, just about the same as well. I think everything's about the same from what we had in the beta. Don't remember the portable radar, though, in the beta. Maybe I just didn't use it. But attack insert, battle rage, recon drone, smoke airdrop, suppression mine, anti-armor rounds. Lots of cool field upgrades there, as you can see. So nice little update from 
what we had before. But what gets crazy is our mastery camo list. So you can actually see, oops, <laughs> that's not right. All right, we're back. I'm not surprised in the slightest that we crashed considering we're not supposed to even be in this menu today. So I kind of expected that, but go to the gunsmith. All attachments are locked. So we can't get a full list of all attachments for each weapon just yet, which is good because the game is only a couple days away. So might as well wait, but you could click on the receiver, get a reminder of what the progression is like for the M4, your M16, the Icarus, the Recon, the Hurricane. You probably already knew that though. But because of this menu glitch, we now know that the highest unlock for each weapon will be the attachment tuning feature, which is brand new and will, in my opinion, shape the future of Call of Duty customization as we know it. I think it'll change the game for not just Modern Warfare 2, but every COD moving forward, being able to fine tune each attachment to your liking, which is gonna look really interesting since you might customize an attachment a certain way just for certain modes. That opens up the door for so much different types of content for MP, Warzone 2, DMZ, Spec Ops, Raids, eventually the next Black Ops game, that game Zombies. Really excited about that feature. We don't know much about it yet, but apparently a blog post is going to drop before the game does release. It probably talks more about the progression trees and weapon attachment tuning, the gunsmith. We'll have to wait and see what happens with more announcements regarding that, unless they just save it for day one where the game fully releases. Then we'll get an understanding as to what's going on, followed by maybe an intel drop from Infinity Ward or something like that. But you can go to customize and actually look at every single camo for the M4. This is nuts. This is definitely a big mistake on their part, but we got permission to post videos about this glitch, which is great. I would recommend using a keyboard and mouse for this part because with controller, it's a little buggy to actually preview the camos. You can just hover over each one to see what's going on. So here are spray paint camos. There's 15 of them. These are more of the basic ones that you get for some of the earlier camel challenges here in the game. And keep in mind, because we didn't get our day one patch yet, some of these might be placeholders. Some of these might be copy paste from MW19. These might not all be final, but they probably are if I had to guess. That's just my opinion right now. They might look really familiar. They might look really unique. Let me know how you feel about these camels down below. This is the first category. Before we go to completionist, though, let's go ahead and see if I can grab that scroll there. I want to look at the other camel categories. It's a little buggy, as you can see. There we go. Obviously, all this empty space won't be there when the game does drop. Go over to Woodland. Another 15 camos. And obviously right now you can see a COD endowment placeholder over all of these. We don't actually have the actual icons for what these camels are going to be. But that'll all be fixed in just a couple of days time. That's some pretty nice ones in there. For digital though, let me carefully move this so I don't crash my game. Another 15. That one looks pretty nice. Definitely some cool looking camels in here. Again, I'm not sure how this glitch got found and then has also not been fixed for well over, I think it's been 12 to 15 hours since this got found. That looks amazing. I know there is a fan favorite camel that's in here. Let's see if we run into it right now. It might be during the next category. Yeah, it's in the next one. Here's Dragon, another 15. Can I move the bar all the way over? Let's see. Nope, it's being a little weird. All right. I love the scales. The patterns on some of these are amazing. Very nice. Love the blue as well. Favorite color, of course. Lots of different camos. I know for a fact, as I said on the podcast and in recent videos, I'm definitely going to be doing a series going for each mastery cam. I'm probably going to save that grinding for maybe Christmas break. When I say Christmas break, I don't mean my Christmas break because I'm not in school, but when devs go on vacation, right after season one reloaded comes out. And once they drop all that content, we'll kind of be left with just what we have for a couple of weeks before they come back to probably market season two after the new year. Here we have the geometric category, another 15. Some decent looking ones in there. And again, you never expect much from some of these earlier camels. You expect the most from the completionist ones. The mastery camels, I should say. But these still look impressive. I'm excited to unlock a lot of these. They look great. And then for fun, another 15 right here. Let's see what's in the fun category. Very cool. And yeah, you've probably seen videos go up already on YouTube of this menu glitch. I was waiting until I got told that it was safe to post this. And I got the green light, so that's why we're here. I wouldn't take a risk otherwise. Got some pretty cool patterns there. Definitely liking that. Very nice. And then for Tiger, let's see Tiger. Probably reminiscing a little bit on 2009 camels as well. If you guys play Mount Over 2, the original, you'll probably recognize some of these camels just look kind of close to some older ones. But you got to think about it, right? Every single year, how could they possibly come up with too many new camos, right? It's the completionist ones you want them to work the most on. 
Not some of these earlier ones, but they have a lot of cosmetics to worry about this year. They're probably going to give out some free rewards for beating raids and for doing things in DMZ and some other Easter eggs and events in Warzone on top of the camel grinding itself. Like, how original can they possibly get every year with camels, right? There's only so much they can possibly mix and match with colors and patterns. But we then have Reptile, another 15. There's a lot of camel categories here, my god. There we go. Oh, is that blank? That one's blank, I think, yeah. So, again, this menu's not perfect. Some are probably missing, blank, broken, bugged. Let's see. Yeah, some of these look similar to, like, some of the other camels we already looked at. I'm ready to look at solid colors, but let's look at skulls first. Definitely a fan of skulls. Got a lot of pink in there, a lot of red. See some midnight blue. Yeah, some of those are blank. Ooh, what's up with this one? Heavy uh, magma camel vibes from like Black Ops 2. Solid colors and then classic. Let's see what's up with classic as well. That's going to be cool. Solid colors, uh, I guess it's in the name, right? They're just solid colors. Ooh, we got some of the brighter ones. I do like that. I do like that. Green, pink, blue, hell yeah. Got some red in there, some teal. Got like a bit of a uh, very light lime. Oh, <laughs> we got some blue. I'm a sucker for the color blue, so I'm going to go crazy over that. Wow. Absolutely in love with that. Classics? Yeah, very, very classic. Don't ex Oh, there it is. The Spectrum Camel from Kata Ghost, which I believe was Xbox exclusive for a long time. I think maybe you were able to get it on PlayStation like a year later. But maybe it's still exclusive to Xbox. I'm not sure. That's from Cod Ghost. I love to see things come back from Cod Ghost. I'm so happy about that. This one was also in another game as well. I can't remember which one. But love to see things from Ghost come back. Because I'm a huge Ghost fanboy. I know that's rare. We then have M. Let's see what's up with M. 15 in each category, as you can see. Loving some of these designs, though. Very nice. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh that's pretty clean. That is pretty clean. Lots to look forward to with the camel grinding. Again, I'd recommend not rushing the camel grind this year. I get it. Some people out there are going to want to rush through it. Because Warzone 2 comes out three weeks later. They want to have the camels ready. But I'd say take your time with it. There's no rush at all. I mean, if you, unless you're going for Worlds first, maybe. But... I'm excited to save this grind for when things are quiet, when not any new content is releasing and devs are on vacation. That's when it's best to go for a grind like this. Look at that nice that nice camo right there. Yeah, obviously, this one doesn't even have a name. It just says, is that, is that Q or O? I can't even, I can't read that. Some of these are nice. Do not use. So, I think that's a placeholder from the devs. <laughs> that's, that's probably what it is. It's pretty direct. Just do not use. Yeah, okay, that's what it is. Yeah. So some of these aren't ready. Not surprised. What's up with special? This is the last category before completionist. Really liking these. Holy crap. Buddy Fajardi is going to love this one too with that purple. I like the blue and green. Oh, Lord. The blue and purple blend's nice too. I got some blue, red, and white. Yeah, some of these are copy-paste. Some sick-looking camels there. I am in love with these. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Where was that Spectrum at? I'm going to equip that right now. So it looks like you could equip any of these, but you cannot equip the Mastery Camos themselves, which is a little unfortunate, but it was under Classic. Yeah, it was under Classic. Let's go ahead and equip that. That's my understanding right now of these Camos. Just equip it for now. See if it even sticks. It might not even stick. But back to Completionist now. Let's see if I can... It's so buggy. Oh, my Lord. I leave it... Okay, I'll just leave it right there for now. Here is... The platinum slash diamond type of camo that'll be in the game. Kind of like a blend between obsidian and diamond, in my opinion. Sort of, at least. Here's gold. Now, the leak right now is that the gold in this game will be just as solid as the gold was in Black Ops 1 or MW2 2009. The fact that it's not that solid here, and you can see like a very darkened, shadowy type of area of the weapon has me thinking that it's probably bugged in this menu. It's not what gold's going to look like. But if it looks like this, still looks fantastic. Obviously, we also saw gold weapons in the campaign, but those are just the cartel blueprints with some gold on them. This is the actual gold camo. Then, this is the final mastery camo. The broken, dark, purple space type camouflage. This looks really damn cool. Loving the purple on that one. Obviously, you can't really see much of the animation on the camo itself because it's not the full version of the camo list. It's just the little placeholder broken menu that we have here. And then, the rest of these are just the same. So... Maybe there is a fourth one we don't know about. But as of now, these are the three. And when you equip them, they just don't stick, which sucks. So I'll go back, and they just don't stick. Spectrum sticks, though, so we're going to keep that for now. As of now, we weren't supposed to know about the firing range. 
We can access it right here. Here it is. Did I just crash my game again? I think I did. All right, while we're waiting for the game to boot up, I did see this tweet from Bob the Network UK, who did say that he deciphered some secret messaging that was in the brand new COD endowment teaser that just came out like two hours ago. It does say that a new COD endowment pack is in route. All will be revealed October 28th. Share your theories about what these items might be and keep an eye on this account for more reveals. I'm not sure how this was deciphered. I don't know if it was a data mine or something to do with this menu glitch today, but here's what Bob said. There's a protector operator skin a Duty Calls M16, a Protector Companion Sniper, I guess a blueprint, a vehicle skin, a charm emblem, and then two calling cards coming with this pack. Quite a bit of content. Don't know if this image is fake or not, but I don't care. It looks real to me, and the skin itself looks like something similar to the Mountain Dew skin we're also getting for that promotion right now. So the Perseverance Cod Endowment pack coming on the release day of Modern Warfare 2, which is interesting. So that's what we have right now with that. But let's see if our firing range works now. Hopefully it does. All right, yeah, I can't access the firing range, unfortunately, but here's some gameplay on screen so you guys can see the firing range in action. I'm happy this is a thing because it's just not been part of Call of Duty for quite some time. We had it in Advanced Warfare. We had it in World War II. The fact that we haven't seen it come back from any other studio has been a little shocking to me. So I'm really happy that this is the opportunity we have to go ahead and test out our blueprints, the attachments we put on, anything else we want to try out. I don't think you'll be able to test out bundles you didn't pay for in the fire range because that would probably lose them some money but at least things that you own you could test out here in this range which is fantastic it's as simple as it gets targets do move you have unlimited ammo you can shoot reload i'm happy this is here i'm very excited about this feature let me know how you feel about a fire range down below in the comments what should they add to it if you're not happy with the current state that it's in but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave our thoughts down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on this menu glitch allowing you to see all weapons attachments equipment perks even a firing range camos how do you feel about a glitch like this and are you happy that kind of got a sneak peek as to what to expect during the full launch even though we haven't gotten our day one patch yet really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody